Hey guys, before the video starts, just wanted to let you know that if you use the discount code 2019LUKEC on Chuckfest's website, you will get 15% off your tickets. Uh, and I am going to the Peterborough Show on the 5th and 6th of May and the Shepton Mallet Show on the 31st of August and the 1st of September. So go to www.truckfest.co.uk, book your tickets, use my name, get 15% off. See you there. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. We are just leaving my first job actually. Uh, just delivered to Travis Perkins in Stroud. Just leaving and uh, we've got to make our way now to Henbury uh, in Bristol to do three runs out of Bristol. So uh, that's what we're uh, heading towards now. We need to go and get some fuel first. Um, well, I don't know actually, we are on quarter of a tank, so we might be able to go for the day actually before we get fuel. We'll see. Might not need, might not need to get fuel just yet. But um, yeah, we've got to go do a St. Phillips in Bristol, then we've got to go do a uh, Stoke Gifford in Bristol, and then we've got to go do a Yate, which is just outside of Bristol but still within its boundaries. Clear left, clear right. So yeah, that's the, uh, the plan for today. Uh, I want to start off by congratulating uh, two very close friends of mine. You know them as Scott Andrews and Kev T. Both of them, yesterday, um, at, at the time of recording this, um, reached 10,000 subscribers. So, big congratulations to Kev, big congratulations to Scott. Oh, trailer got very close then. Yes, um, 10,000 subscribers is an achievement. Um, I know I was well happy when I got 10,000. So um, yeah, big big shout out and congratulations to them. I haven't got quite as many as me, but <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, well done guys, well done chaps. Right, so um, we're gonna crack on. I'm gonna overtake this cyclist. Now that it's safe to do so. Oh, he's budged into the left as well. Brilliant, right, so I'm gonna crack on. Gonna make our way to Bristol, get reloaded, and then um, I'll see you when we're on our way to our, our second drop of the day, but the first one for you. See you in a bit. Good news, we're loaded. Bad news, we're in traffic. We've been sat stationary now for about three minutes. Uh, we're on the M5. Um, and this is the M5, M4 split. So we need to go onto the M4 to get off, to go onto the M32 to go into Bristol, to go to uh, St. Phillips. Yeah, we're just staying still at the moment. There is movement up ahead for this lane. <laughs> um, I think the problem is, because the tailback is going so far back, people are coming off the junction and rejoining back on, which is then just causing mayhem for for, the, for us, basically. Oh yeah, hang on, we're going forward now. Also, people can't decide what lane they want to stay in. So you've got people moving from lane one to lane two, and people moving from lane two to lane one. But like, just stay in your lane, man, do you know what I mean? Never mind. You, you, I don't like being in traffic, but you've got to try and not let it get to you. You've just got to smile. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, the annoying thing is for me is that, um, I have TomTom -tom traffic on my on my satnav, and it ran out yesterday. <laughs> so I got no idea how long this queue is. Normally I would know for, by the minute, but no, no idea. I, think I better put my window up. We're moving a little bit now. Yeah, normally it would say like five minute delay or ten minute delay. It says nothing. So never mind. Oh, by the way, if you ever drive on the M5 slash M4 split, these gantries work. I see people getting flashed all the time. So if it says 40, make sure you're doing less than 40. Same if it says 50 and 60, because they do work. You see people get flashed all the time, all the time. So bear that in mind. 
Right, we seem to be moving a little bit now, which is good. Good, 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 good. Um, the time is 20 to 9 in the morning, so we are essentially in rush hour traffic. And um, St. Philip's is situated like within the city centre of Bristol, so we do have to go through Bristol city centre to get there. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in traffic all the way. ETA is currently 9 o'clock. I'd be surprised if I get there for 9. It's probably going to be like 20 past 9, half past 9. <laughs> if, we're, if we're in a lot of traffic, then quite easily. Way up! See what I mean? Lane 2 to lane 1 changes. Just... Because uh, this lane's slightly faster, so he's moved on over. He'll get back into lane 2 in a sec. You watch. He's right up that car's you-know-what as well. Go on, Mr. Corsa. Are you going to get into lane 2 now? Because lane 2's now faster. Now's his time to go if he is. Oh, no, he's not going. <sighs> I like this part. It's like the flyover. All the junctions. Anyway. Oh, it's gone dark. Take my glasses off. Right, let's crack on. Let's get crack a lack in. Let's go to Bristol. City centre. City centre! City centre! Oh, Mr. Bowdenstone. Uh, we're still crawling. Still crawling. <laughs> just gotta, you just got to smile in this situation. Um, ETA is still saying just after 9 o'clock, so we'll see. We're only three miles away. It's just uh, literally through Bristol City Centre now. Yes, lots of traffic lights, lots of buses, cyclists, motorcyclists. Emergency services. Not a lot of space. <sighs> Here comes a motorcyclist now. I budge on over. Oh, he nodded me. He nodded me. He said thank you. Ah, oh, come on, traffic. <laughs> okay, so we're just going over the flyover now. That uh, essentially takes us to where we need to be. Um, still got a little bit of traffic. We are going to start indicating right because we do need to be in the right hand side lane, 600 yards. That car is letting me out. Thank you very much. So, yeah, uh, normally they're quite quick here as long as they can get you in. Uh, but what with it being 9 o'clock in the morning, I don't know if they've got any other deliveries lined up. So, um, just, just past their entrance, there's a lay by, and normally uh, we stop in there. Tell them that we are here and then um, spin round at the roundabout and come on in. So um, hopefully we can get straight into the lay-by. Now the good news is we've got mainly pallets on. We've, got, we've only got three big bolt bags. The rest of them are pallets. Like 20 pallets or so? Well, 15 but maybe? Something like that. So basically it shouldn't take too long to get it all off because uh, there's three bags for every two pallets, give or take. So um, if the more pallets there are, the, the less lifts overall they, they've got to do. Because when a fully loaded trailer with bolt bags, it would be about 34 lifts. Whereas um, a fully loaded trailer with pallets, would be about 20. So a lot quicker, a lot, a lot, a lot quicker. Right, fingers crossed we can get into the lay-by, 500 yards up on the left. We won't know until we actually get close, because it's just around the corner, so we can't tell from here. Is it clear? So far it looks alright, but we won't know until we get a bit closer. Yeah, lay-by is clear, so we will be parking in the lay-by. There's no one in there either. So we should pretty much go straight in. We just gotta let them know that we're here first. So beacons on, hazards on, handbrake on, ignition off. Let's go tell them we're here. Right, we're just leaving Travis Perkins in St. Phillips. This is a very busy road to get out of. Cars come so fast that it's kind of like a blind corner as well. So, 
I've got to creep out. No, there's a van come in. It's all clear left, clear right. I've still got to creep out because it's bumpy. I don't want to ruin the suspension on the trailer or anything. Beacons are all on as well, so they're well lit up. Turn all the beacons off. Excellent day! Right, we are now on our way back to Hembury now to get loaded for our third run. Our third run is going to Stoke Gifford. Uh, they they can be very fast in Stoke Gifford. I've done, their, done them before on vlog. Uh, it's just getting in. Once you're in, you're, you're in and out. Assuming you're not stuck in because of the uh, merchants. So, I mean, it's uh, going to be about uh, quarter past 11, half past 11 by the time we get there. So it would be very nice if we were to get out by quarter past 12 and then back at Henby by one o'clock. That's that's the current aim. So we'll have to see on that one. Uh, right now it's quarter to 10, so we'll try our best. Um, just want to give a quick uh, mention to my new store. If you check down below this video, there should be, uh, well, if you're watching on uh, PC, laptop or mobile phone, if you turn your mobile phone up and you're watching portrait mode, you, there should be links underneath the video for my new store. Um, and if you're, if you're watching on a computer, obviously close the maximum screen and they'll be down there as well. It doesn't pop up on TV, I don't think. So, But yeah, new store, new merchandise. I'm going for like a sort of design look rather than logo. Uh, obviously last, last time I had a store, it was pretty much just my logo on clothes. I actually want to come up with different designs, t-shirt designs, hoodie designs, and... Um, yeah get some new merch out there my favorite top that i recommend at the moment is my let's get crack a lacking hoodie uh doing a hoodie and a t-shirt multiple colors available as well and sizes do up to 3xl i believe so um go check them out um it's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash lucene hdv or click the link in the description below or just click uh, the link of the product below um but yeah, I've got some, got some few, a few designs up there. Uh, wake me up in 45 minutes. Um, evolution of a truck driver, that sort of stuff. So yeah, go check it out. I've still got the old stuff on it as well, like mugs and stickers and and all that. So yeah, go check it out. Anyway, I'm going to crack on to Henry, get reloaded for my next job at Stoke Gifford. See you in a bit. Right, so it's become quite miserable outside. <laughs> starting to rain a little bit but that's not going to affect our attitude today we're going to be nice and happy today um just just now getting loaded I, I saw some smoke in the background like on the horizon so to speak and i thought to myself oh i don't look good anyway i was on i was on facebook it's getting loaded so i wasn't driving and um they said lorry fire south m5 between uh cribs causeway and portishead that's literally what I could see. So I could see the fire plunging up. So hopefully drivers were right. I've not not seen any other reports other than the fact that it was a lorry on fire. So fingers crossed everything's all right. Um, it shouldn't affect us because we'll be going northbound on the M5. Yeah. After this run. After this run, we're going northbound on the M5. So it shouldn't affect us. I can see the smoke in my mirror, um, at the back of now, in the mirror. Still see it. I don't know whether you can pick it up on the dash cam or not, but there's a bit of smoke in the cloud. Yeah, so we're just around the corner now from Stoke Gifford. We're gonna get loaded, uh, offloaded here. Time is five past 11 at the moment, so nice and early. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can get offloaded and back by 12. That would be pushing it, so let's say half 12. And earlier I said by one o'clock, so we are on, on target, so to speak. There's a motorcyclist there. He wants to overtake me again. I did leave space for him to get in front of me but he didn't want to so i've overtaken him again never mind we're coming off here anyway so so is there going to be any trucks in here that's the question we want to try and get in and out asap thank you very much can't quite see just yet Indicate left. No trucks are queuing up, so I'll be the first one to queue up at least. So hopefully I can go straight in. Obviously can't see around the backyard yet. Anyway, 
beacons on and uh, I'll see you when we're leaving. Right, um, <laughs> rapid, we're in and out proper quick. Um, we were tipped within 20 minutes um, and within half an hour we were out as well. It's one of those yards, like I said, even though you can be tipped, uh, you might not necessarily be able to get out of the yard. But yeah, within half an hour we were in, unloaded and out, so spot on. Um, I would have recorded slightly earlier, but I've just been on the phone to Jabba. He was not having a good day. <laughs> So I know he's watching this as well, because he always does with his brother. Ha ha. <laughs> he's stuck in Malvin at the moment, whereas I'm uh, three runs done, and he's still on his second. Anyway, I'm off to go do my fourth run. I'm having a splendid day today. Uh, ETA back to Henbury is 12 o'clock, big bump, which is ideal, because by the time we're loaded out of Henbury, because Henbury they're quiet as well, so it should be about half past 12, I reckon, by the time we're out, maybe 22. 20 to 1, the latest. And uh, from there, back to Yate, we'll be at Yate, we'll be at Yate for about 1 o'clock, quarter past 1. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. By the time we leave there, I'm back to Swindon, assuming we're going back to Swindon, we're probably looking at like 3, half 3. Uh, get loaded, back in the yard for half 4. Latest, I expect. But it's all something to change, it could, uh, we could be hindered by anything. You can, you might be able to see now in the corner on the screen, is like, uh, in, in the sky, there's like smoke, that's from the M5, from the fire, it's like lingering, lingering, anyway, I'm going to go and get loaded, um, see you in a bit, right, we are loaded with our final run of the day, our fourth run of the day, uh, and we're literally just around the corner now, uh, we're in Yate, so all good, Man, it's really like, it's a hot, humid day today. Well, it's not, it's not hot, but it's very humid, but it's wet out. <laughs> um, but I'm still in a t-shirt because it is just really humid out. So, just thought I'd let you all know that, really. There's uh, there's risks of thunderstorms today in Swindon, which is, of course, where I'm from. So, and I, I am home tonight as well, so it's going to be some thunderstorms later. Yeah, you just drove down the side of me, yep bit tight at the back of the trailer that's all and he just squeezed past if I rolled back it might have hit him anyway um yeah so we're just email just around the corner from um where we're delivering to uh Travis Birkins in Yate uh once we are tipped here we need to go back to South Sydney and night load ready for the morning don't know where we're going tomorrow where we're operating out of don't know um could be back in Bristol again because they said they got some work on in Henbury so it could be back down here again tomorrow, who knows? We will uh, find out later on in the video what exactly we will be doing. But for now, we are delivering to Yate. Better stop for these traffic lights as well, aren't I? Yeah. And uh, when we finish delivering in Yate, we will be coming along here and going down there back to the M4. Even though Satnav says go this way. Um, I've seen two people within the last 10 minutes Sorry, I wasn't recording, <laughs> but um, someone in a van uh, tooted me and someone in an Arctic tooted me just now. Um, so apologies, I wasn't recording at the time, so you're not in the vlog. But if I was recording 10 minutes earlier, then you probably would have been in the vlog. So uh, shout out to you, to you two. Um, I've been flashed many times today as well. I lose count. I don't mean that in a big headed way or anything like that. Right. Any more traffic lights? There's one more set of traffic lights up here. Hopefully we don't get stopped at these. Uh, this place that we're delivering to, that lorry looks like he's just delivered to a Yate actually, thinking about it. Potentially anyway. It's an English lorry, isn't it? Yeah. English lorry, 100% that's just delivered to, to Travis Perkins. Guarantee that's just been there. So hopefully it's clear. Hopefully. Or oh, there could be a queue. We're about to find out. Thank you, Mr. RD. What's RD number plate? RD. It's not Romania, is it? Oh, we've got a few lorries up here. Okay, Hathaway's turning right. Downton's turning left. That's good. So we're going straight on. <laughs> oh no, he's going straight on as well. I'm going to flash, flash the uh, van driver to come. Come on then. Oh no, that downtown lorry. Oh no, he's going right, okay. 
Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. No trucks are queued up outside yet. Nope, no trucks are good outside. So we're at the very least next in line. I need to get up on the curb now because there's nowhere to park outside here. So we get up on the curb, put the hazards on, beacons on, and we slowly roll forward. Do, do, do. Now there is enough room this side for a pedestrian to walk past. There isn't enough room for a wheelchair, so if, if anyone in a wheelchair does need ac access, I'm in the truck. Uh, so I will move. We'll just wait here and uh, we'll give them a call, let them know we're outside, stay in the truck, because if I need to move the truck I can, I'll just move on over there. But um, it's normally quite quiet over here, so. Oh, good. Right, I'm gonna give him a call. See if we can get in. Right, we're just leaving Thomas Perkins in Yate now. We just gotta do uh, a relatively tight left-hand turn. Right, it's not that the turn is tight, it's that the trailer gets very close to the wall. And we're good. Trailer off the curb, there we go. Right, so yeah, we're tipped. Uh, we're now heading back to South Cerny to get reloaded for tomorrow. Still don't know exactly where it is I'm going. Uh, tomorrow, that is. But as of right now, we are heading back to Cerny. ETA there is 25 past three. So we're not doing too bad, actually. Not doing too shabby at all. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <sighs> so the place I went to earlier, Stoke Gifford, they had... Uh, some sort of uh, meeting going on. Some like the hierarchies were there. So like area managers and all that. Anyway, I just uh, got to this place in Yate, and they said they're expecting someone to come see them as well. I was like, oh, I just saw them. So good. For <laughs> but it's quite funny uh, because when I got there at Stoke Gifford, uh, these these area managers were like in the goods in area, and um, I pulled up and it was all dusty. And basically, I got them, I got them covered in dust. Jumped out of the cab. I said, "Oh, it's a little bit dusty here, isn't it?" <laughs> so that was quite funny. Let's lift my lift axle up. All clear. Right. So I'm going to crack on now to South Cerny, uh, find out where we're going, and um, I'll see you in a bit. Right. We're loaded. I can go down there. We are loaded. Ready for the morning. We're heading back to the yard now. Uh, tomorrow morning we've got to go to Tetbury, which is only around the corner, so it's not too far away. It's only about an hour, uh, half an hour away. And uh, from there we are going to be going to Henbury again, where we were today. So. Um, got another yate and also fish ponds fish ponds are notorious fish ponds <laughs> you're either in and you're out or you're out and you're waiting for hours to get in so um that's gonna be fun tomorrow but at the moment that's all i've got planned so but hopefully they can find me a fourth run who knows all i know is it it's uh quarter past four now we're making our way back to the yard we'll be at the yard in like 10 15 minutes uh, half past four, and uh, I'm gonna be aiming by five o'clock. So that's uh, happy days. Happy, happy, happy days. All clear to the left, all clear to the right. Let's go. Excellent, say. Right, so I'm gonna make my way back to the yard now. I want to thank you all for watching this video, it does mean a lot. Uh, and remember, merchandise, new store, uh, it's teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash Luke's in HDV, or click the link down below. Uh, or click the pictures of the products uh, just beneath the video if you're watching on uh, like iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, iPad, whatever. <laughs> just not TV as far as I'm aware. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so Avail is my channel sponsor, but who are they? Well, 
They're an open platform for drivers to find work and for logistic managers to find drivers. They match drivers with the jobs they want for the rate they want. And this is how it works. As a driver, you download the Avail app, sign up for free, and simply pick the jobs you wish to apply for. As a haulier, you create a job on the Avail website and you only pay a £7.50 fee if a driver connects. Here, let me show you. Hauliers create the job type going at the rate they wish to pay. The minimum wage gap is £12.80 and Avail charge you £7.50 if you connect. As a driver, you will be paid £12.04 minimum. Haulers can create as many job adverts as they like and can either offer the job to a specific driver that they have favorited and worked with in the past, or they can offer it to all drivers on the market. Drivers will be notified instantly once accepted for a job and they can plan for weeks in advance. There are no hourly cuts for wages, the drivers will be paid what is advertised. There are no hidden costs, drivers only incur a 6% processing fee, avail are open, fair and transparent. What rates you see are what you get paid. You can give drivers and hauliers up to a five star rating at the end of the shift. The better your rating, the higher chance of success you will have. I really think this could be the future of this industry and I'm personally looking forward to working with Avail myself. For more information, click the link in the description below and show your interest.